Setting definitely. It's beautiful there. However, I, I just put the house on the market because I I was widowed and then I got very ill, so it's just, okay. This is this is probably the last serious glass show I will put up. Okay, I'll try to ask you more questions then, if you don't mind. Some of the forms are, they don't actually have a head. Is it like a deeper intonation of the unconsciousness? Um, I did a series called Organic Forms. And what interested me was... It's like the soul of a person? Like that's where they find their life inside of themselves or it what? Was, it was, um, a lot of it had to do with the softness of being a woman. I felt that society was becoming very masculine and militaristic, and so I, I really exaggerated curves and, and their... The roundedness. The roundedness and the, the sort of cavities where you would hold and, and nurture, and so the arms, arms and heads and stuff... They're often slumped. They, were, they kind of were distractions. Okay. And then I... Um, the so the torso series. is very important in right. terms of storing that energy. Yes. And the first series I did with, with the, the heads, the emotional alphabet. Right. I did the 26 heads with a different, each one a different emotion. Uh, and then I did bodies without heads, and I tried to do an emotional alphabet with bodies, but it's very hard to portray emotion without arms, legs, and heads. So then I began working on bodies with emotion. Without some kind of expression, right. And, um, but it, it was during the period where I was trying to work on bodies with emotion that I became very ill. You must have had an intense feeling of the essence that you wanted to portray and just decided to cut out part of the expression in order to portray that. Well, a lot of painters talk about how a, a blank canvas has a picture in it and they have to paint till they find it. That's sort of how I feel about play. Um, I basically just... Oftentimes I would watch a course on science on DVD while I sculpted so my brain would get out of the picture in my hands and something inside of me would, would make the piece. Right. And then I would look at it. And